This is going to be a video tutorial on how to crop an image into a circle using Adobe Illustrator. I will be using Illustrator 2023 for this. Let me uh, jump over to Illustrator here. Okay, I have Illustrator open now. I have an image of my cat here on my canvas. What a handsome devil he is. Say that I wanted to crop out a circular image of just his face from this image. The way to do that, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to my tools panel on the left hand side here and under the rectangle tool here, I'm going to place my mouse cursor in the lower right hand corner of the rectangle tool here. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and that brings up the tools that are hidden underneath it. I want to select the ellipse tool the keyboard shortcut for the ellipse tool is L. I'm going to go over. I'm going to select the ellipse tool. Now I'm going to draw out a circle on my image. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and start dragging out a circle. As I'm dragging it out, I'm going to hold down the shift key. Because that will make it a perfect circle. You can always adjust your circle later. I'm going to let go of my left mouse button. There is a circle there. Now I'm going to go back over to my tools panel and I'm going to select the selection tool. Very top one. I'm going to click on that. Now I can move my circle around. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this fill here so I can see my image in the background. I'm going to go over to the uh, right side panel here and I am on the Properties tab here. I'm going to go down to the Appearance section and I'm going to click on the uh, color box next to Fill. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to select the, uh, the color box with the red line through it that eliminates the fill. And now if you want to, for the stroke, you can click on the uh, color box next to Stroke and you could choose a stroke. I'm going to have mine is black. That's just so I can see where my circle's at. I have it on one point. A black stroke, one point. Now I'm going to go back over to my uh, image here. And now I can uh, resize my circle. I could pull out from one of the sides. As you're pulling out, you might want to hold down the shift key. Because that will keep it a perfect circle. I'm going to have mine right about like that there. I'm going to let go of my left mouse button. Now to crop this out, what you want to do is select both your image and your circle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move my cursor outside of my image. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button. I'm going to drag across so that I have both my image and my circle selected. Now I'm going to go up to the object tab up at the top, I'm going to click on Object. Then I'm going to go down towards the very bottom and place my mouse cursor over Clipping Mask. Clipping Mask. Then I'll go straight off to the right side and I'll click on Make. Now as you can see my image here, it has cropped out that circle of my image. Now to save this as a transparent background circular image, all you need to do is go up to the File tab, click on File, go down to where it says Export, place your cursor over Export, go straight off to the right side and down to where it says Save for Web Legacy. I'm going to click on Save for Web Legacy. Now in this dialog box that opens up here, you want to make off to the uh, right hand side here, you want to make sure that clip to uh, artboard is not checked. If it's checked, it will not be, as you can see what it does to my image here, it will not be a uh, transparent background. I'm going to make sure that that is unchecked. And then you want to make sure you're saving it as a PNG. I'm going to click this drop down right here. It gives you different choices. You could either choose PNG 8 or PNG 24. P 
PNG24 is a little bit better than PNG8. I have PNG24 selected. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click on save. Another dialog box will open up asking you uh, to name your file. I'm going to rename my file Smalls Pick. You can name yours anything you want and then you just click on save. Now if I open up my uh, folder where I just saved that image Right here you can see I have my original image and I have the uh, image that I just saved. If I double click on that image I just saved, there is my image right there. That is how to crop an image into a circle using Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching.